Hi VC, it's Sean. Come back to make another video of things I've gotten in the mail for the last little while. And uh, let's show them. Well, first of all, we're listening to background. This is Bridget Bowden. Oh, how I cry bunch of just different mixes of that featuring slam and club mixes by Todd Terry and DJ spin plus kick and progressive mixes by the dust brothers the two record set was this one record the other one's on there's four sides of oh how I cry different mixes of it Pretty cool. So, anyways, what have I got in the mail? Most of this stuff is stuff that I've was waiting for me when I came back from the holidays, and uh, a couple of them were stuff that was I got just before we went on holidays. So, so anyways, we we'll start start with um, some of the older stuff first. So the first one is Karen Park. This came out in 2011, I believe. It's called uh, High, Wire, High Wire Poetry. Um, she's a Swedish electronic pop. I would say. Her voice reminds me a lot of Fever Ray. This is the inner sleeve. I don't think I've shown this before, so. And it's on white vinyl. If you've never heard this and you like The Knife or Fever Ray, I suggest checking this album out. It's more poppier than they are, but fantastic, I believe. Like, um, the first song, Restless, is great. Tension is great. T Tiger Dreams is great. Wild Child, Explosion, 6,000 Years. And there's not a bad song on this album. And a little hype sticker here says, uh, from The Guardian, Big Throbbing Electronic. And the most arresting voice since Bjork. So, I suggest checking it out. It's a wonderful, wonderful album. 2011. I've been looking for that for a long time, and the price is always too expensive. And I finally found it for a really good price. So, I was happy with that. And next is The Ravenettes. Raven, Raven in the Grave. Ravenettes are Danish duo. I believe they're from Dan. And uh, this is really good. This this came out in 2011 also. And this is probably one of their darker albums they've made. Fantastic though. And last one we got is Macedon Crack the Sky. This is on black also. Color in 
inch sleeve, tip in or whatever you want to call them. So it's nice done. Great album. So the collection is starting to come along. So next is I got this. This was waiting for me when I got home. Pixies EP3, 10 inch, still sealed. Most likely won't be opening this. But I missed the first two. But I jumped on that one. We'll see what happens. And I got this. This is Sinead O'Connor, Troy, the Phoenix from the Flame, the German mixes. So this is three remixes of her song, Troy, which is my favorite song by her. This album blew me away when I listened to it. I listened to it, I've probably listened to it about a half a dozen times since I've got home. It's simply amazing. Really cool remixes. This came out in 2002. It was made in the EU, Europe. One side's 33 RPM, one side's 45 RPM, so it's pretty, pretty cool. If you really like Shane O'Connor and that song, you should check this out. It's make you totally change the way you think about that song. It's pretty amazing. The next one is Coat Hangers. Barnacy and Old Lace. Bar this came out in 2011 on Suicide Squeeze Records. This is a second pressing. This is another one I really wanted for a while, but the price was too much, and finally got one that was the price I was willing to pay. Some clear vinyl. Sounds awesome. It's an all-female. Punk rock. Comes with lyrics. It's a great album. If you haven't heard it, I suggest you look up the song Hurricane, which is the first song on this album. It's fast. It's, it's great. Hurricane. Check it. It's the Coat Hangers. They have a new album just came out. I haven't listened to it yet. I'm late. Dying to do it. Next we got the New Liars album. album, Mess on a Mission, is their signal off, single office. So, this is a great album, it's a lot more electronic than their earlier stuff, but it's, I like to, I've listened to this to death already, like, I had it digitally for, for, for a while, I've been listening to it constantly at work. Great album. I believe this is just black. Well, it's got some nice inner sleeves, though. There's sleeve one. Inner 
see, two lyrics. And got a gatefold, but I don't open them, so I'll never see it. Also came with a CD, which can be a pain in the ass when you try to put stuff back in. So the CD, two L LPs, great album. Next is the Tower. Pick a bunch of millennials is the album I butchered that for sure. This is a great Swedish psych rock. This came out 2014. And it's on Bad Omen or Omen Records or Bad Omen Records. It's on white vinyl. This is their fourth release on Battle. The fourth, Battleman's fourth release. I really am really digging this album. It's, it's got the 70s metal prog sound. Beautiful, beautiful album. It's fantastic. Cover works awesome. Check it out. It's the Tower Bad Omen Records. And then last but not least, the biggest one I got was The Ghost of a Sabretooth Tiger. This is Sean Young. Or Sean and Sean Lennon and Charlotte Kemp Newell for this new release. This just arrived today, and it's beautiful. Really heavy cardstock. It's a inner sleeve. Side A lyrics, side B lyrics. Fine. Green vinyl. Where's the so there's uh There's the download tool. You see that? If not, well, whoever can get it can get it. Because I pre ordered that a long time ago when I first heard about it, I also got, also came with a poster, signed poster by them. Signed. So, pretty happy about that. I haven't got a chance to listen to this, just, like I said, just arrived this morning. But you'll notice this is a huge record. But, like, comparison, let me show you. There's a 
tower's a normal size. What? Much bigger. Taller, a little long, wider. And super, super thick hardware. I've never felt, it's like, there's some money spent on this one, that was for sure. So, I'm really happy. I can't wait to hear it. I've only heard the one song on here that they've had a video for. And it's fabulous. Reminds me a lot of John Lennon, really. Really psych and Moth to the Flame, I think, is the song I've seen the video for. So, really excited about that. And so that's it. That's what I got. I'm sure I got more crap I haven't showed you that I got and Goodwill stuff. And I had a pretty good Goodwill haul a couple weeks ago, a month ago maybe. Which I should have showed, but that's good enough for now. So I think you should check out all the albums I got showed you. You should check them out. YouTube it. Take a listen. If you like it, grab it. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you later. Bye.